Hi everyone and welcome back to our next video on Construct 3. In this video, we're gonna show you how to get started and make sure you know how to save and just how you work with some of the features in here. There are many, many, many features, a lot of them that I haven't even used. Um, so you're gonna have to investigate. Like I said, Google and YouTube is your best friend. If you wanna figure something out, you can Google it, you can go to YouTube. There are tons of videos on Construct 3 and games that other people have built. So please use those and learn from other people. So when you open up your project, you're gonna see something like this here. We're gonna to go to menu, we're gonna to go to project, and we're gonna go save as cloud save. So that will save it to your Google Drive. So make sure when we do this, let's go back to here, we're gonna to go to menu, project, save as, cloud save and when you do that it's going to ask which google drive account you're going to click on your school account and then you're going to save it there i've already done it here so it knows where to go but that is how you're going to save your project you're going to see in the bottom there a pop-up it says successfully saved so keep an eye out for that to make sure that it has saved properly there's a couple things in the settings here we're not going to go through everything here but um, just a couple things over on the left here it shows the layout and the layout name which we can change and the event sheet that we're working on the size is the size of this window right here and when you actually go to play the game that's your viewport window that's a different size so you could have a game with a very small viewport window so when you're actually playing it the window is small or you could make it bigger but where you're building the game is here um, this will be your whole game if you will so just keep in mind there's a difference between the actual size of this working sheet here and your actually viewport window when you're playing the game so please keep that in mind one thing is you can, when you click on any of these here, we can actually click and we can move these around to different parts of the screen. I can put this at the bottom. I could put it over on this side. I could put it here. So we can move some of these things around if we wish um, and you can resize them accordingly. You can even close them if you want. If you ever wanna find them again, then you just have to go to menu and go to view bars and then you can find um, these different bars if you close them and you want to open them back up so to get that again you just go menu view bars and then you'll find these different bars that you can use so we are going to get started here and let's begin with just having a background layer. So if I go to my layers bar here and I right click rename, I can just put background here and just rename that to something that makes sense. And there, that shows me that I'm working right now in the background layer. And if I wanted to, I could bring in an image for my background. So how can I do that? I can double click on anywhere in this white space here. So double click and I get this pop-up window here. Then I've got a number of different things that I can put inside here. So for instance, I could put a sprite in here. I could put a tile background. So here is where I insert a bunch of different things that I can use. Um, so that is how we insert something into our um, workspace area, if you will. If I go and click on tile background, like so, and then it gives me crosshairs, because basically it's telling me where do you want to put this. I can put it uh, wherever I want, because I can always move it after. I can even put it actually off the workspace and save it over here um, if I want to. If I click here, you're gonna see this opens up here. And actually, I can actually build something. So I could uh, build whatever I want and then have it inserted on the page. So I could build a sprite, um, I could build a tile background, or I could go get a file. So if I go to here and load an image, I'm gonna click on that, 
and let's say I go find say these background clouds here it's a JPEG file and if I just double click and it inserts like this and if I close this window you're gonna see that there it is right there and what I can do is I can stretch it out and I can spread across my whole workspace here. So um, that's a nice feature. I can put in this background here and I can have that a background. Notice that I've gone over the edges here. I don't have to, but I've gone over and outside the actual uh, view area, if you will. So that is how you can insert a background image and in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can put in a tile background. That's it for this video. We'll talk to you soon.